chooses that lifestyle, not because of new age practices or anything like that. Um, she, she, her body does not deal well with meat. That's been proven over time. And so she just, she just eats a lot of veggies and salad and things like that. And daddy's okay with that. Daddy's fine with that. But these people, like Mike Adams, they have a tremendous influence. You need to understand the New Age influence about this. The New Age idea behind being vegan is that animals have a soul or animals are conscious somehow of you devouring and eating them and you're sinning against the planet by eating little furry animals. That's, the con that's where it comes from. Um, it also is this idea that if we can all eat just exactly the right things, then we will actually prevent death from happening in our bodies. That is a that is a unbiblical idea. We are not killing ourselves by our diets for the most part. Now I do know that some people absolutely destroy themselves. My uncle died uh, in his mid 30s, 34 years old, as a result of alcohol poisoning. Uh, the folks in our church, Bonnie and Roy, they're attending a funeral of a, of a family member who destroyed their body with alcohol poisoning. I get it. Yes, you can, you can do things that, that harm your body eating-wise. But the Bible does not condemn just the plain eating of food, nor does it say that you have to only eat this and this. Well, what about the Old Testament law? Uh, we're going to deal with that here in just a minute. But it's this idea that it's, it's what we're eating that's killing us. It's taking pharmaceutical drugs that's killing us. When this guy went into uh, the uh, Batman movie and shot all these people, they found out, did a blood test on him, that he had taken some Vicodin. Was he abusing Vicodin? It could very well be. But some people jumped on that issue to say that, if, see there, Big Pharma is making us all kill everybody. That is not true. Okay, um, what does the Bible say about eating things like this? Well, he mentions 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 3, talking about your body and the defilement of the temple. Let's go back now to what Jesus said on this issue. Jesus Christ said that you're not defiled by what goes into your body. Mike Adams, if you're going to quote scripture, quote the whole thing. You're not defiled by what goes into your body. Mike Adams is defiled by what comes out of his body. In fact, you know what? Let me find that. That, that just seems like a good place to go. Uh, let's see. I'm going to write a verse down here real quick. We're going to open our can of king. I had it at uh, 1 Timothy uh, chapter 4, verse 3. And let me pull up exactly what Jesus said. Um, let me see here. If, uh, I, I know just how to do this with quick verse, all right? Now, that's interesting. Uh, all the forms of the word defile are mentioned 120 times in the King James Bible. This is Matthew chapter 15. Let me back up a few verses a little bit. Um, he says, and this is Jesus, he said, Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, but honoreth me with, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men, Mike Adams, and he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. That is the words of Jesus Christ. He says uh, in verse... Um, he says in verse 17, Do you not yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly, and is cast out into the draft? D-R-A-U-G-H-T. You know what that is, don't you? It's the loo, it's the toity, it's the john, it's the pot. That's what Jesus is referring to. You, the body takes in, it pulls out what it needs, it stores some things up for fat, and then it gets rid of the rest of it. The human body is designed to purge itself of a lot of things. People like Mike Adams would tell you that if you eat this, you're sinning and you're going to hell. And you're just, uh, here, now I want you to get what Adams is saying. Adams is saying that if you eat a chick a filet sandwich, that it's the same as kissing another man on the mouth. That's what Mike Adams is saying. And he's wrong. He is dead wrong. 
So he's, so Jesus said, Matthew 15, 18, but those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they do defile the man. And I can tell you this, there is a far greater poison already in us than just about any poison we can consume with our mouth, including monosodium glut glutamate and anti-foaming agents, whatever that is. And here's what Jesus said, for out of the heart proceedeth, number one, evil thoughts. Number two, murders. Number three, adulteries. Four, fornications. Five, thefts. Six, false witnesses. Seven, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. That's what Jesus Christ himself said. It's absolutely ridiculous to think that I'm going into a fast food restaurant, innocently going there to eat a sandwich because I'm hungry, and, it's, and to Mike Adams, it's like I went in there and sodomized some guy right in front of everybody in front of the restaurant. That's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, somebody asked me this question during our, um, during our question and answer session. In Mark chapter 16, Jesus said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, and he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be condemned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, that shall they cast out devils, and they speak with new tongues. And they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. And that's what Jesus said. If you look in the book of Acts, there was a serpent that actually bit the apostle Paul on the hand, and God would not allow the poison uh, to kill him. Instead, instead, Paul shook the beast. And if I just love the illustration of that of that passage, if you look in First Timothy, and this is, I will be honest, this is an issue that I did wrestle with for a while, until I just studied the scriptures out on it. Uh, I've had people come at me for one reason or the other, overeating. No, not overeating, over the issue of eating. Um, what can we eat? What can we not eat? As born-again, Bible-believing Christians, what can we eat? And some people say, rightly say, that God never changed the law. God does not change the law. Okay, I agree with that. Um, and so I think, and people ask me, what do you think the, um, what do you think um, uh, the Sabbath day is? It, is it Sunday or is it Saturday? Well, the Sabbath day is the seventh day exactly the way the Bible says it is. It is the seventh day. I never... I never really thought of Sunday as being the Sabbath day. I always heard it was the seventh day. And that's what I, st I stick to, just what the Bible says. Uh, and they say, well, how come you go to church on Sunday? Because there is no law that prohibits me from going to church on any day of the week, including the seventh day, nor is there a law that command me, commands me to corporately and publicly worship only on one day of the week. It doesn't exist. Well, then what about eating bacon, ham, shrimp, lobster, crab? Now you're making me hungry shrimp, or excuse me, uh, bacon-wrapped lobster. That's good. Okay. Um, what does the Bible say about that? 1 Timothy chapter 4. Here's, in, in fact, I'm going to go back to uh, the, the vision that Peter had because I had some people in Dallas that were just jumping all over me on this issue. And when I brought up the vision that Peter had, they were saying, God was just testing Peter to see if he would do it or not. He was just testing him. No, wait, 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 wait. God had told Peter, the commandment, arise, kill, and eat. And Peter said, uh, uh, let, me, uh, let me get to this passage here. Uh, let's see. I, it's Acts. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll probably just paraphrase it here in a minute. Oh, here it is. No, here it is. I can't find it. Anyway, um, the issue was that you had all these unclean animals. And God mentioned to Peter, he said, what I have cleaned, call not unclean. And so God doesn't change the law concerning eating pigs and ham, pigs in a blanket. You ever had that? Okay. Pigs in a blanket. You take hot dogs, roll them up in biscuit dough or some kind of dough, put it in the oven. Man, they're good. Okay. Uh, that's, just, that's just plain, plain Jane cooking is what it is. Uh, but anyway, God did not change the law. He cleans the animal. How was the animal cleaned? First Timothy chapter 4, look at what the Bible says. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, 
giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. Now the word meats is a word that means uh, types of food. A meat is a meal. It does not necessarily imply uh, muscle tissue from an animal. Uh, but that idea is there. Meats forbidding to, and, and commanding to abstain from meats. And God said this was what's going on. And he said, um, he said, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. And so the issue is, can I eat... Um, can I eat bangers? Jill, are bangers made out of pork? Okay, I'm going to wait her answer here. Can I eat bangers? That's uh, like uh, British sausages. Can I eat shrimp? Can I eat, um, and Jill says, yes, they're made out of pork. Okay. Um, they, uh, can I eat shrimp? Can I eat, um, crab legs? I love crab legs. Oh, I love crab legs. Can I eat uh, mussels in the shell or oysters? I love those things. Can I eat those? And the answer is yes. They are sanctified by the word of God and prayer. And so anybody who would come to you and say, you're not supposed to eat that, you're not supposed to eat that, you're not supposed to eat that, you can't eat that, you can't eat that, whether they're going to use the Old Testament or not, or like Mike Adams says, you can't eat monosodium glutamate and expect to go to heaven. They, they got it wrong. They don't understand anything. They're trying to be teachers of people, and they're not good at it because they will not use the whole of the Scriptures. And uh, just wanted to clear that up a little bit. Um, CBS News is reporting Shooter identified as a former USA military member. Now we can get our conspiracy theories going. I mean, the, the guy that walked into the uh, Batman movie and shot and killed all those people, everybody's come out with conspiracy theories going, I bet the government did this. The government, the government said yeah, this is a false flag. And uh, or we're going to see New World Order. And, you know, and, uh, that, that's the Alex Jones type people. But now here's this guy, and here's some things that we know about him. He was former U.S. military. Not only that, not only that. He was psychological operations trained, PSYOPs. That's a branch of the military that says, we're going to use certain guys to go in and freak everybody out. Okay? Psychological operations are part of modern warfare now. And so here's this guy. He's allegedly kicked out of the army, kind of like Oswald. He goes in and kills five or six people or seven people. I'd heard two different numbers, so I'm not sure exactly. How. He probably mistook the Sikhs, S-A-K-H, for Muslims, uh, when you go to London, you're going to see a lot of them. There's a lot of Sikhs in, uh, in London, and they all work at the airport for some reason. Uh, but anyway, these are uh, the, the Sikhism is a sort of a Hindu kind of or an Indian kind of religion is what it is. He goes into a Sikh temple and, and shoots and kills all these people, and then he himself is killed. It's interesting. Now the guy can't talk.